The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 25. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on August 28, 1973, in London, England. It is said that the soul is invisible, inconceivable, immutable, and unchangeable. Knowing this, you should not grieve for the body. Ambhaktoyam achintoyam abhikajoyam chati tatma evam viditya enam na nusutitam arati So, Krishna began this teaching to Arjuna. First of all, Sutchan Nanda Sutchastam Sudhyava Vam Sivhat. You are talking like learned scholar, but you are lamenting on the body which is not at all important. Here also the same thing. Tasmadi Mangviditta Enam, this body, na anusutitam manasi. Do not be very much serious about this body. The soul is the subject matter to be considered. But the modern civilization, they are concerned <coughs> with this body. Just the opposite. Krishna says, because the soul is import, Im, immortal, therefore tasma evam viditta, understanding of this principle, enam, this body, na anusuti tummarasi. The real factor is the soul. Uh, we have to take care of the soul, not of the body. So far body is concerned, there are pains and pleasure, like climatic changes. Agamapāyana uh, anitya. Such bodily pains and pleasure uh, come and go. They are not permanent. Kāṁtitikha uh, sabhāra. So, you have to learn how to tolerate these bodily pains and pleasure, but you have to take care of the soul. But the modern civilization, they have no knowledge of the soul, what to speak of taking care of it, and like animals, they are in the bodily concept of life, taking much care of the body, but they have no information of the soul and what to speak of taking care of. This is the lamentable condition of modern civilization. Animal civilization. The animal simply take care of the body, has no information of the soul. So this civilization is animal civilization. Mura. Mura means animal asses. Now if we say uh, to the people in general, they will be angry upon us. Uh, but actually this is the position. Uh, the shāta buddhi kunapi kidhāta ke, as several times explained this verse, the shāta buddhi, ātma means self, buddhi, has taken this body as self. The shāta buddhi, but what is this body? This body is nothing but a bag of tridhāta, kapa pitta and its byproduct. 
by mucus, uh, by and air, by interaction of these three things. Uh, just like this material world, this house, what is this house? Tejo bharimit vinimayam. Anything in this material world, what is that? Tejo bharimit vinimayam. An exchange of fire, water, and earth. Tejo bharimit vinimayam. Exchange. You take earth, you take water, mix them, and put it into the fire, it becomes brick, then powder it, uh, it becomes uh, cement, then again combine them, it becomes a big skyscraper building. Uh, so as uh, this material wall, anything you take, it is simply a combination of these three ingredients, plus air and sky, for drying. Air is required for drying. The combination of the five elements. Similarly, this body is also combination of five elements. There is no difference. But because in the big skyscraper building, there is no soul, it stands in one place. But the body has got the soul, therefore it moves. That is the difference. The soul is important. But they do not know. <coughs> Just like we are uh, manufacturing the airplane, and there is no soul. But another soul means the pilot. He takes care of it, he drives, therefore it is moving. So without soul there cannot be any movement. Either the thing must have soul or some other soul will take care of it, then it will move. Therefore, uh, the important is the soul, not this material body. So anyone who is accepting this material body is very important. Uh, just like the other day, uh, some of them came, they were very much uh, eager for feeding this body, those who are starving, starvation. The starvation of the bodily concept of life, but there is spiritual starvation. That we are not taking care of. Material starvation may be there, but actually that is not a problem, because there is sufficient arrangement for maintaining this material body. Uh, real starvation is of the soul. Uh, the soul is not getting, getting spiritual food. Here in this meeting, this is meant for giving to the starving spirit, spirit soul. And as soon as we get some spiritual food, uh, then we become happy. That is it situation. Jayatmasam uh, <coughs> prasidati. Uh, unless you get spiritual food, there cannot be satisfaction of the real soul. The same example. Within the cage, there is the bird. If you simply wash the cage very nicely and cover it and paint it, and the bird within the cage is crying, starving. What is this ability? Uh, similarly, we spirit soul, we have been encased within this body. 
So our natural aspiration is to get freedom from this encasement as much as the bird is struggling to get freedom from the cage. Similarly, we are also, we are not happy being encased. Uh, yesterday we learned from Bhagavad Gita, soul's position is sarvagataha. Soul can go anywhere. That is, it has got this freedom. Uh, those who are spiritually advanced, by yogic mystic power, they can also move anywhere he like, anima lagima siddhi. There are still yogis in India who early in the morning takes bath in four dhāma, haridvāt, jagannāt, puri, rāmasyaram and dvāt. There are still yogis. Uh, Within one hour, they will take bath in four places. Sarvagata, the speed. They will sit down in one place and by yogic prayer process, within few minutes, will get up. Deep in, here in this water, suppose in London, you dip, take your dip in the tents, river, and when you get up, you see in Calcutta language, there is yogic power supply. Sarvagata. So, the spirit soul has got so much freedom. Sarvagata. Anywhere he likes, he can go. But this impediment is this body, which is checking our freedom. So, if you get rid of this material body and be situated in spiritual body, just like Narangi, he can move anywhere. He's moving. His business is moving. Sometimes he's going to Vaikuntha Loka, sometimes coming to this material Loka. He's, he has got spiritual body. He's free to move anywhere. Uh, spaceman. They are trying to travel in the space by machine. There is no necessity of machine. Jantra Rurani Maya, the machine is made of Maya. But you have got your own power. That is very speedy. It is being checked. Therefore one should be very much careful how to get the soul out of this engagement of this material body. That is, that should be our first concern. But those who are simply concerned with this body, they are no better than the animals, cows and asses. Saeva gopar, jasyāta buddhi kunapi tidhākuti sadhik kalatra visibhoma yudhyadhi the teeth would be salile in a karahiche, janesu avidji to saeva gopa. Gopa, gopa means asses and cow. So this civilization, modern civilization, having no information of the soul, it is simply a pack of animals only. Therefore, they do not care what is the resultant action of their activity. They do not care for, for fire, piety, and visas, activities. They take everything. That is the civilization. Prabhittincha, nivittincha, navidu, asurajana. Asurajana means this rascal of asura, atheist, fool, rascal. They do not know Pravitti and Nivitti. Pravitti means uh, in which subject matter we should take interest. That is called Pravitti. And Nivitti means in which subject matter we shall not take interest. Or we shall try to give it up. The Asura Jana, they do not know. Uh, they try 
we are not progressing inclination loki bhavaya amisha madhya seva nityasu jantu every living entity has got uh, material that are two natures spiritual and material material the inclination of sex enjoyment and eating meat amisha amisha means eating meat flesh and fish like that that is called amisha Uh, Non-vegetarian means niramisha, kamisha uh, and madha and babaya. Babaya means sex. Uh, Loki babaya amisha madha seva. Uh, sex, indulgence, and eating meat, flesh, eggs, and drinking wine. Uh, madha madha means liquor. The nitya asu jantu jantu. When one is in the material world, he is called jantu. Jantu means animal. He, although he is living entity, he is not called jiva soul. He is called jantu. Jantar deho upavartaye. Jantar. This material body is developing for the jantu, animal. Anyone who is devoid of spiritual knowledge, he is called jantu or animal. This is the shastra. Jantar deho kovatay. Who gets this material body? Jantu, animal. So so long we shall get on continually get or change this material body. We remain drawn to animal. Place of the ass of the how a drawn to animal can tolerate, or he is forced to tolerate. Just like a bull of yoke and the calf and the sheeping, he has to tolerate. He cannot get out of it. The similarly, when they are taken to slaughter out to be killed. He has to tolerate it. There is no way. This, this is called jantu. So those who are surrendered to the material nature, he has to suffer. He has to suffer. There is no way out. You have accepted this body, you must suffer. Place of the ash of the or this material body means suffering. So they do not know this. Uh, They are making so many elements and plans. How to become happy? How to become peaceful without any miserable condition? But these askers do not know that so long you have got this material body, either a king's body or an ant's body, you must have suffered. They do not. That what Krishna says here that you take care of the soul. Tasmadevam, Tasmadevam Vidhitva. Just try to understand the soul is important. You have got to lament for this body. This is already settled up. So much suffering, so much comfort you will get. Although the body, material body, because the material body is also created, According to the three quality, karana guna sanga asya sadasad jan sadasad janma joni. When the inquiry is that why one has got the king's body and why he has got one has got the king's body, there are so many other bodies, eight million four hundred thousand of different types of bodies. So why the difference is there? Uh, that difference is uh, explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Karanam, Karanam means cause. Why these varieties are one? Karanam guna sanga asya asya jivasya. He is associating with different kinds of qualities, and therefore he is getting a different type of body. Karanam guna sanga. 
Therefore, our business should be not to associate with the material quality, even not to goodness. Uh, material quality, goodness, means the brahminical quality. Sattva sama dhamma to be ka. Devotional service is transcendental to this good quality also. Uh, in this material world, if someone has that, he has got the but in a Brahmana family or is executing his duties exactly, a strict Brahmana, he still he is conditioned under the laws of this material. Still. And what to speak of others, those who are in the modes of passion and ignorance, their position is most abominable. Jagamna gunavitista adhuvachanti tao. Those who are in the uh, modes of ignorance, Jagannā, very abominable condition. So at the present moment, that is śūdra, kalau śūdra sammava. In this age of Kali, everyone is in the modes of ignorance. Śūdra. They do not know, because they have not. One who knows that I am spirit, soul, and not this body, he is Brahma. Uh, and one who does not know, he is śūdra, uh, kripaṁ. Itad vidityāja prayāti isa brāhman. One, everyone dies, uh, that's all right. But one who dies after knowing the spiritual truth, uh, just like here, the students who are trying to understand what is spiritual life, uh, and somehow or other, if he understands that his spirit soul at least, uh, then he becomes Brahma. <coughs> he becomes Brahma. Eka Vidhitya. And one who does not understand, he is Kripana. Kripana means miser. Brahmana means liver. These are the Shastrika and Janaka. So first of all we have to become Brahmana, then Vaishnava. Brahmana simply knows that I am spirit soul, aham Brahmasmi. Brahma jñānāti iti brāhmaṇa, Brahma bhūta prasannātmā. By such knowledge one becomes a prasannātmā. When it's relief, as you feel relief, if there is burden on your head, and when the burden is taken away, you feel, you feel relief. Similarly, this ignorance that I am this body is a great burden, a burden upon us. So when you uh, get out of this body, then you feel relief. Brahma Bhuta Pratanatma. Uh, means when actually one understands that I am not this body and so then he has to work so hard for maintaining this body, so he gets relief. Why am I working so hard for this lung of material thing? Uh, let me execute. My real necessity of life, spiritual life, that is great relief. Uh, that is great relief. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. Na sota ti na kāntri. Relief means there is a hankering. No, no, lamentation. Uh, these are the Brahma Bhuta. <coughs> so, our actual business is to become Brahma Bhuta. Uh, so, who can become? That is explained already. Krishna has already explained that. What is that right? Jamhina bhathante te. Bhathante does not give pain. Jam, material, material body, that is all as troublesome. Even this body, this is also another body. We have to carry it. So, when one is not disturbed by this bodily pain and pleasure, there is no pleasure, simply pain. Uh, here pleasure means a little absence of pain. Uh, just like you have got a boy here. Uh, what is called? Boy? Kuriya? Uh, so it is always painful. Uh, by some medical application, 
When the pain is little, really, you think that now it is happening. But the boil is there. How you can be happy? Uh, so, here actually there is no happiness. But we think we have discovered so many counteractions. Uh, just like there is disease, we have discovered a medicine. Uh, we have discovered medical college, manufacturing, big, big physician, MD, FRCS. But that does not mean we live. No, you have to die. Sir. So the boil is there. A little application of temporary medicine, it may... Therefore there is no oh, happiness at all in this material world. Therefore Krishna said, well, why you are feeling happy? You have to die after all, which is not your business. You are eternal, but still you have to accept that. This is your real problem. But these rascals do not know. They think death is natural. After death everything is finished. Now, so long I am not dying, let me enjoy. Rinam Krityasitam Kivet. Enjoyment means, according to our Indian system, their enjoyment is not meat eating, as in the Western countries. Their enjoyment is eating ghee more, become chubby, fatty. That is their enjoyment. So Jarvan Muni recommended that now eat ghee and enjoy life. Kachavi, Sanar, and all made of ghee people. Then I have no money there. Where shall I get ghee? Rinam Kishya, big borrow stay, get ghee. Tamara, black market, white market, anyway. Bring money and ghee. Yes, sir. Rinam Kishya, Dutam Kivet, eat as much as possible ghee. Rinam Kishya, Dutam Kivet, Javad Jive Sukham Dutti. Jive, Sukham Jive. So long as you live, live merrily, very nicely. That is the theory of all the European philosophers. Live merrily. But the philosopher at the end becomes paralyzed. His merriness is finished. Who is that philosopher has become paralyzed? Eh? So they make all these theories. Uh, not only uh, European philosopher, another philosopher in India, Dr. Radhakus, he is now brain paralyzed. So they do not understand that there is a controller we may purize in so many ways of our uh, happy life. But you cannot be happy, sir, so long you have got this material body. That's the fact. Dharma Vittud Jarabhadi Dukkha Dushan Therefore, intelligent person, they should be. Krishna is making everyone intelligent. You rascal, you are under the bodily concept of life. Your civilization has no value. It is rascal civilization. Here is the point. Your problem is how to be re-established again as eternal. Because we were, we are eternal. Somehow or other we have fallen in this material world. Therefore we have to accept birth and death. So our the problem is how to again be eternal. That is Amrita. But these rascals they do not know that there is possibility of becoming eternal. Simply by trying to understand Krishna, one can become immortal. Janma karma me dibbam ju jana Simply trying to understand Krishna, what is Krishna? Then, kaktadi hankunar janma naiti, simply by understanding Krishna. Even you don't serve Krishna. If you serve, then you are already divided. If you see simply philosophically, it's try to understand the position of Krishna. But no, the mura, the rascal, they will say, oh, we accept Krishna as a great man. We don't accept Krishna as God. The Arya Samaj is 
All right, if you accept a great man, great personality, why don't you accept his teaching? Huh? Then what kind of accepting a great personality? Huh? If you actually accept Krishna as a great personality, at least you must follow the instruction of Krishna. Well, now, that also they will not do. And still, they are Arya Saman. Arya means advancing path. Uh, degrading path. Real advancing party is Krishna conscious person. The devotees of Krishna. They are Arya. Just like Arjuna, when he was trying to uh, neglect the instruction of Krishna, Pranayana is not why. So he says, on Arjuna's uh, anyone who disobeys the instruction of Krishna, he is on Arya. And one who obeys the instruction of Krishna, he is Arya. That is the reason. This is the so-called Arya Sama. They disobey the instruction of Krishna, and still they claim to be Arya. Actually, they are Anarj. Anarj is just. This is in the Bhagavad Gita. So, Nāma Sūtitam Manasi. Krishna has said, yeah, you, you are eternal, your business is uh, how to achieve that eternal position. And so far the body is concerned, antavatri means they have, this is, uh, in, this is distractible. So you should not be very much serious about this body. This is the distinction between the Vedic civilization, Arya civilization, Vedic civilization Arya, and Anarya civilization. Anarya civilization means bodily concept of life. Anarya civilization means spiritual concept of life, how to make spiritually advancement, that is real civilization. Those who are compact in the thought of bodily comforts of life, they are all anarya and that is now duplicated. Don't lament on this immaterial thing. Thank you very much.